Welcome to Building Better Homes, brought to you by PPC Cement. I'm Fez Lembela. In this series, we're putting four teams of emerging home builders to the test by challenging them to a number of building tasks on which they'll be scored by our expert judges. The winning team will drive away in a brand new Toyota Hilux Bucky with a ton of PPC cement as well as 250,000 Rand in cash. But only one team can win this amazing prize. Which team will it be? Let's take a look back at the challenges so far. Teams have been tasked with building a bright structure as well as plastering an interior wall with each team using various methods so they could stand out from the pack when the judges score their work. Good morning guys. Good morning. Good morning. Today's challenge is to lay a screed onto a floor. You will have four and a half hours to complete the challenge. But other than that, you will be given no guidance whatsoever by the judges. It'll be up to your abilities and experience, as well as the PPC Builders app on your Android phone to successfully do it to the judges' expectations. The challenge will start when the air horn blows. Does everyone understand the challenge? Yes. Then Builders, your challenge starts now! <laughs> The choice of which cement, tools and other materials to use for this challenge is entirely up to the teams themselves. They'll have to decide, based on their own experience, what will work best for the task. Let's find out from George what the teams should be looking to pick here. This challenge will test the team's abilities and understanding of materials. And they will have to make sure that they select the right sand, the right stone and the right cement for this challenge. For that, they would have to evaluate their materials. They will have to calculate the quantities required using the PPC Builders app, which is available on the Android phones. Once the materials have been selected, the proportions are important. Those proportions can be found on the back of the bag. Teams have a choice of using either OPC or SureBuilt. Both are suitable for this particular application. It is most important that the surface be protected from evaporation. So I would expect to see either plastic or a proprietary curing compound being applied to that surface. George, how should things be going right now? Well, Zeli, I think at this stage, each of them are addressing the preparation. Right. The preparation is very important for a screen. They're, of course, each approaching it in a slightly different way. And their choice of materials is interesting. They're each mixing it in a slightly different ratio, and they're using slightly different materials. Of course, but they have all selected the sure build cement. What's the ideal way of mixing? Well, for a job like this, a mechanical mixer is good because you get uniformity. Yeah. One, uh, one of the teams has selected to mix it by hand. Uh, no problem with that, uh, provided they just maintain the consistency that they require. George, we're halfway through the screening challenge. You've taken a look at all the teams. Tell us your thoughts. Well, Fazili, I'm surprised that none of the teams have wet the floor before applying bonding agent. Some of them have used the bonding agent as a neat acrylic without mixing it with cement. But here I must say that the gray team mixed it with cement, which is the correct way to use a bonding agent. But unfortunately, they also applied it to a dry floor. George's words might spell disaster for the teams as they progress in the challenge. They all seem to be using different methods to place and compact the screed mix onto the prepared surface. Some teams have applied good techniques to achieve the desired thickness and levels. Emmanuel is making creative play by adding some colour to his screed. All the teams seem to be progressing nicely as the final minutes count down. Teams, 
That means your time is up. Well, for me personally, um, I think we did very well. Uh, we just had a few challenges because normally when, when we do a screw back at home, uh, we never use a 6.7 mil stone. We just use the, the fine grit. Uh, here they call it the river sand. Um, and we, we, we actually use materials today that we've never used before. So, and I think, I actually know that we used it um, according to the certain steps that we had to. All the other teams used a concrete mixer to mix their concrete and stones. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you do that? Because the thing is, is, when you're mixing with a concrete mixer and you put water in, you don't really want a wet mix when you do a, a screeding. You want a semi-dry mix, you know. And with a concrete mixer, when you mix, you have to make it a little bit wet, otherwise when you dip it out, it struggles to come out. What are the one or two hiccups that you had? Um, I had a little bit uh, too much uh, uh, moisture, too much water in, in, in my mix. Mm -hmm. Um, so that, that caused a few problems. Uh, we had to wait a while before we could start finishing off the street and uh, um, we wanted to, to put a, a curing compound on uh, um, afterwards, but uh, it's still, the water content is still a little bit uh, too high to, to put that on, so we had to skip that um, because we're not gonna, it's not gonna dry out enough in the time allowed for us to put that on, so yeah. Well, it, it's interesting that you say it was a bit tricky and Silo says, ah, no, it, it was good. Yes, because you know, we are the same, the same team, mm -hmm. but we don't do the same job. Ah, yes. Each and everyone has its own part. So my part was harder, because I have to level it, I have to make sure that it is level, mm -hmm. and the stones can wage the straight edge ah. if you are not accurate enough. So you have to be accurate enough so that your job will be level, smooth, Everything is perfect. With the time over, the judges move in to score the team's floor screed challenge. Some of the teams didn't pay attention to detail, including preparation, edges and finishing. Some handiwork did, however, impress the judges. Oh wow, this looks like a great effort. So there you go. Challenge three finished, which means there's only one challenge left for the teams to impress the judges enough to win the grand prize. Which team will have what it takes? Will it be your favorite? Tune in next time to find out. I'm Fez Lembela, and this is Building Better Homes, brought to you by PPC Cement. Thanks for watching. To see how PPC Cement brings you even more strength beyond the bag, go to ppc.co.za where you'll find info on the teams, the judges, building information and much more. Coming up in Episode 5 of Building Better Homes brought to you by PPC Cement.